The history of agriculture is as old as human civilization. Farming is the way of life for a major portion of the population in India even today. But in recent years, the younger generation is moving away from their farms. Cultivation and production of food grains has come down. Shortage of farm labor is one of the major problems of Indian agriculture. This has opened the door for farm mechanization. These machines, imported from developed countries, may not suit fully to our farm conditions. But it is the ray of hope of our farmers. Farm mechanization will bring down the cost of production in the long run and improve the efficiency of farming. Hence, it can improve the profitability and sustainability of Indian agriculture. We have visualized successful farm equipment from reputed companies like Oleomac, Agrimate and Still, etc. We will explain both positive and negative aspects of each machine. Rotary tiller, different types of sprayers, mist blower, chainsaws, pole pruners, bio shredder, earth auger, high pressure washer, garden equipment, etc. are the machinery shown in this documentary film. We have tractors and regular tillers for big farms. But this mini tiller is developed and designed for kitchen gardens, intercultivation between narrow rows and around the tree base. No doubt, it is less efficient compared to conventional tillers. But it is more suitable for these specific works. Though there are many brands, Oleomac Rotary Tiller is most popular. Petrol models are more common than diesel mini tillers. This Oleomac Rotary Tiller runs with the Honda four-stroke petrol engine. It has only one gear for forward movement. Front small wheel is useful for shifting the tiller from block to block. It is kept folded upwards in operation. The rotor has three sets of tilling blades on either side, which enables tilling for 2.5 feet width. Depth of tilling is 1.5 to 2 inches, depending on the soil condition. Hence, it is more suitable for intercultivation, weeding and fine tilling of topsoil than original tilling work. That is why it is known as power weeder also. Chain cover is strong enough to protect the chain from hitting stones during operation. Height of the handle can be adjusted to comfortable position for the operator. There is a provision to attach a small trailer too. Of course, there are some limitations for this tiny machine. It is not suitable for soil with stones, thick surface roots and soil without enough moisture. However, it can be used effectively for intercultivation between narrow rows, mixing manures into the soil and many more purposes. Apart from this, the engine power can be used to run a small generator for domestic electricity supply. We can attach a big water pump for lifting water from open wells or tanks. One can run the bio shredder with the help of pulley and belt. We can use this as a power sprayer by attaching HTP pump to this engine. Power of this engine may be used to run grinder, mini mills for flour, dal or oil for domestic purpose. Hence, this rotary tiller is a multi-purpose machine for our farmers. 
Many state governments provide subsidy for this mini tiller. Agrimart sells this oleomac rotary tiller across India. Cutting trees is one of the important works of rural life. Conventional manual saw needs two people to operate. Mechanized chainsaw is the best alternative for this laborious and tricky job. Chainsaws of many brands are available in the open market. However, still a German MNC is the world's number one in chainsaw. Oleomac chainsaws are also very popular and dependable. Government subsidy is available for this machine under few schemes in many states. But this equipment is costly for an individual small farmer at full cost. However, one chainsaw is sufficient for four to five farmers. <laughs> Sawing is very fast and easy with this chainsaw compared to manual saws. Vibration is also less. It runs with 2 to 3 HP two stroke petrol engine. It weighs around 4 to 5 kilograms depending on the make and model. Hence, it is not so heavy for the operator in operation. Clean the air filter once in a while if the work is continuous. The saw chain gets lubricated automatically. Hence, be sure of proper oil level before starting the work. The metal bar on which the chain runs is thin but strong enough to sustain pressure while sawing. Sharpen the teeth of the saw chain after continuous work only with the file supplied by the manufacturer of the machine. The operator should know the traditional tricks of felling a tree in the desired direction. Otherwise, it may damage the chainsaw and the operator. It is necessary to have the traditional knowledge of cutting the fallen tree also. Otherwise, the chain bar may get locked in the cleft. If the operator knows these tricks, sawing is very easy with this chainsaw. However, it is difficult to cut a tree with a large diameter with this machine. Apart from these big chain saws, small handy chain saws are also available. An operator can run this chain saw with a single hand and prune the branches like this. Electric chain saws are also available. These are useful for the work in home yards. No doubt, these chain saws make the work of cutting trees easy unlike before. The manufacturers of these outdoor power tools recommend safety wearing like helmet, ear pad, eyeglass and hand gloves. Even though farmers may not use all these, taking enough precaution while using these power tools is quite essential. These chainsaws are available with the distributors of the companies. Coffee, tea and cardamom plantations maintain tall growing trees for partial shade. It is necessary to prune the branches once or twice a year for the regulation of shade. It is difficult to use ladders in this undulating terrain. Mechanized pole pruners from Still and Oleomag companies are quite useful for this pruning work. Working of this pole pruner is similar to the chain saw. Cutting chain bar can be adjusted in five different angles to suit the situation. This telescopic aluminium pole with safe locking system will reach the cutting bar to 10 to 15 feet height depending on the make and the model. 
This entire machine weighs just 6 to 7 kilograms and hence one can operate comfortably by holding like this. The main limitation of this pole pruner is the reach of height. We can use it up to 10 to 15 feet from the ground. Both hands are necessary to operate this. Hence, the operator cannot work standing on the ladder. Again, the labor has to climb the tree to prune the upper branches with a sickle. Manual pole pruners are available with the same companies which will go up to 20 to 25 feet high. These are very systematic and sharp compared to local implements. But the cost of the manual pole pruner is high for a farmer. However, these pole pruners are quite helpful for teak and other agroforestry plantations with large number of trees. Digging pits for pendal or fence posts is a routine work on the farms. Opening large number of shallow pits is necessary in tea, coffee and forest plantations. Earth augers of still, oleomac and other companies are useful for these purposes. Single man operated small machines and two men operated heavy duty earth augers are available. This machine runs with two HP petrol engine. We can use the auger bits of 6 to 8 inches diameter for this machine. This earth auger has its limitations. It will not dig a hole properly in the soil with lots of stones and roots and also in dry soils. We have to use big earth augers for bigger pits. However, this earth auger is quite useful in the rainy season in tea, coffee and forest plantations. This machine can reduce pressure on the labor by attending at least a part of the work. Now let us demonstrate different types of mist blowers and sprayers. A mist blower is the equipment which sprays the spray liquid in the form of fine mist. Spray solution comes down in this plastic pipe by gravity. Air stream in this bigger pipe breaks the liquid particles into mist and sprays it on the crop plant. This machine is useful for crops on large area. Spray solution covers the whole crop plant due to the mist form. Wastage of the liquid is very minimal. However, operator should walk fast 
matching to the spraying by the mist blower. It is possible to cover three to four acres in a day. Many brands are available in this mist blower category. We are using Oleomac and Still Mist Blowers for our demonstration. We find petrol engines of 4 to 5 HP depending on the make and the model. Liquid tank capacity of 14 to 16 liters. Discharge rate is 3 to 5 liters per minute. This mist blower has the booster engine and hence the spray can reach the pepper wine of this height. It is very popular for spraying in rubber plantations too. However, the spray stream spreads wider with the height and the wastage of the liquid will be more. Hence, it is not suitable for targeted spray for arachnid bunches. This mist blower is best suited for field crops on large area. If you reduce the air stream, it works like any other sprayer. There is a provision for converting this mist blower into a duster by using a small kit. Put sulfur, melathion or any other dust into the tank and dust like this. This duster machine is useful for mango, grape, paddy and many more crops. This mist blower come duster is an efficient and useful machine for crops on large area. But it is not suitable for restricted and targeted sprays. This is the mechanized sprayer suitable for crops on large area. Oleomac, Agrimate and many more brands are popular in this category. Tank capacity is 20 to 25 liters. This Agrimate model runs with a 25cc 4-stroke 1HP Honda engine. Discharge rate is 5 to 7 liters per minute. The spray liquid breaks into fine droplets and hence it spreads on the crop plant effectively. However, the operator should walk fast to avoid the wastage of the spray solution. Now, we shall study the improved versions of conventional sprayers. We have demonstrated Agrimate models. This is the very common and basic model. The tank is made up of good quality fiber to avoid rust and corrosion. Operating the handle is made very easy. Tank capacity is 12 or 16 liters. This is the improved Agrimate high-tech manual sprayer. This stores more air pressure which improves spraying. Durability of this sprayer is more compared to other manual sprayers. We find many handheld sprayers for backyard or kitchen gardens. This is baby sprayer. This is a slightly bigger sprayer which is fitted onto two small wheels for pulling. This is one more mini sprayer which hangs on the shoulder. All these mini sprayers are useful for home gardens. This is HTP sprayer. This Agrimate model is fitted with 35.8 cc 3.1 HP Honda engine. It uses petrol and kerosene as fuel. To match the capacity of this sprayer, we need to employ two people with two spray guns at a time. Discharge rate is 25 to 30 liters per minute. This HTP sprayer is useful for field crops on large area or plantation crops like coffee, tea, grapes, etc. We can fit this HTP pump on mini tiller or any other engine of required capacity. This 
is Agrimate Mobile Sprayer. Tank capacity is 50 litres and it can be pulled on the wheels easily. It is fitted with 25cc 4-stroke 1HP Honda engine. Rate of discharge is 7 litres per minute. The spray can reach 15 to 20 feet height. However, the spray spreads wider with height and the wastage will be more. Even though there are many brands and number of models in these sprayers, none of them are effective for targeted spraying for arachnid bunches. Oleomac and Agrimate portable sprayers have entered the market to match this requirement. It is said to be a replacement for manual gator sprayers commonly used in arachnid gardens. This portable sprayer has 1 to 2 HP petrol engine. Spray reaches up to 15 to 20 feet height effectively. However, the spray spreads wider with heavy wind and height resulting in the wastage of spray solution. Even then, it is acceptable in the rainy season for the control of quick spreading nut decay disease of arachnut. It can replace manual sprayer in conventional spraying methods also. This is the battery sprayer becoming popular in recent years. It is very similar to manual backpack sprayers in capacity, spraying methods, etc. But we need not put effort to build air pressure. Hence, the operator can work throughout the day. This works with 12 volt battery. Overnight charging is sufficient to spray 350 liters of spray solution. Spray will be uniform till the battery is exhausted fully. Discharge rate is 2 to 3 liters per minute. This battery sprayer is competing with all types of manual sprayers in recent years. We find many brands in this category in the open market. There is no shortage for organic material in forest areas, but in plains, there is no forest and hence no dry leaves or herbage for organic manure production. Then the other option is to powder the waste materials available on the farm. Midrib of the coconut leaves, dry twigs of any plant, cotton and sunflower plants after harvest can produce enough organic material for the purpose. Bio shredders of various brands have entered the market for this purpose. This machine runs with 5 or 10 HP electric motor or 6.5 or 13 HP petrol engine. It can be attached to a mini tiller also. Acceptability of this machine by the farmer is yet to be established since electricity and petrol are scarce and costly inputs in recent years. Tea plantation needs workers on large scale for the harvest of tea leaves. Delay in harvesting brings down the quality of tea powder. Agrimate Tea Harvester has entered the market to counter this problem. This two men operated machine runs with 25cc two stroke petrol engine. Two blades sliding on each other with reciprocal movement cut the tea sprouts. Airstream at high speed from the bent pipes in front of the cutting blades pushes the cut leaves into the bag behind. The entire machine weighs 8.5 kilograms. It is not difficult to operate this machine by holding like this on the tea plant. It takes 2-3 to three hours for a new operator to run this harvester at uniform height. Fluctuation in the height will cut matured leaves also, which would spoil the quality of the whole stock. Tea plantations facing acute shortage of labor are using this tea harvester successfully.
Tea plants need pruning at half height once in three to four years. This is necessary to get healthy sprouts and a better yield. It is very laborious to cut off this hard plant manually. Tea pruners are extensively used for this purpose in recent years. This is another version of regular brush cutter machine. Carbide tip circular blade with 100 teeth is attached for this purpose. This sharp blade with high RPM cuts the plant stem without splitting. This machine has replaced the manual pruning in most of the plantations. Farmers use similar type of circular blades to cut firewood and small trees. Pruning mulberry plants at the base once in a year is practiced to produce fresh growth. Similar machine is being used for this purpose also. Working with this machine is easy and very fast compared to manual work. Company made special circular blade is in use for this work. Hence, brush cutter is helpful for our farmers in many ways. <laughs>
ornamental garden and lawn around the house is common now. It has become almost compulsory in big cities and farmhouses around cities. Maintenance of this garden is more difficult than establishment. Lawn mowers of different size and capacity are available now for trimming lawn grass. This is the simplest manual lawn mower. Pushing it on the lawn will trim the grass uniformly. However, this may not be useful for lawns kept untrimmed for a long time. It is the best suited lawn mower for a small lawn around the house. This is the most popular petrol engine lawn mower. We can adjust the cutting blade to three different heights depending upon the height of the grass to be retained. Cut grass collects in the box behind. Take out the grass once the box is full. This is suitable for small and medium sized lawns. Electric lawn mowers of same type are also in use, but the garden should have power point. Working method and the efficiency is similar to petrol lawn mower. For lawns on large areas like stadiums, resorts, etc., ride-on lawn mowers are in use. This also runs with petrol engine. It is easy for the operator to work with this lawn mower since he need not walk. However, this ride-on lawn mower is suitable only for lawns on large area. Maintaining the hedge at a particular height and shape is a skillful job. We have efficient hedge trimmers from Still and Oleomac companies for this purpose. This weighs around 5 kilograms. This Oleomac hedge trimmer has a 1.2 HP petrol engine. The handle can be turned up to 180 degrees so that the operator can work on both sides of the hedge comfortably. This is still hedge trimmer, popular for its efficiency and accuracy. Likewise, we have electric hedge trimmers also marketed by the same companies. But the garden should have power points. Working method and the efficiency of this electrical model is similar to the petrol hedge trimmer. Scarcity of labor is a worldwide problem. It is not limited to farming alone. Industries, construction works, etc. in the cities are also facing shortage of skilled workers. But they never cry like our farmers. They use all opportunities for mechanization and bring down the dependence on manpower. Likewise, we have to find suitable machines and equipment for farm mechanization. Of course, it may not be possible to replace manpower for all work and situation in Indian agriculture. But even the partial mechanization can bring down the pressure on the labor force. Nobody has the magic stick to solve this labor problem. 
we may have to modify our cropping and cultural practices while adapting these machines. No doubt, the mechanization can bring down cost of production in the long run and improve the efficiency of Indian agriculture. Your Shramajeevi will work with you throughout this process of transition. Let us meet again in the next part of this film. Thank you.